everyone and welcome back to my channel I am Roxy and today I will show you how to make it's very elegant and chic jacket uh, it's very easy to make uh, and if you are a beginner you can do it can be adapted to any size so don't matter what size you have you can make it the yarn that I use it's a yarn which I buy per kilogram and it is a yarn similar with Boucle yarn. It was very thin and I put in four strands. And uh, for the white I use the yarn that I show you and for the black I also use a fancy yarn and for this jacket uh, for S size I use almost 700 grams um, the crochet that I use is crochet number 3.5 millimeters the jacket is worked to bottom uh, to top until at the bottom uh, it's worked in one piece without any sew and uh, if you want to support me please subscribe to my channel and also if you want the written pattern you can find it here into the bottom on in my presentation so let's begin before you begin to make this jacket you need to make a number of stitch who is close to the neckline okay so close to the neckline in my case uh, you can chain the same number of stitch if this number it's good for you okay uh, the difference will be at the number of rows that you make uh, until you uh, join the corner to obtain the space for the slave okay but you can begin with the same number of chain and now I chain 84 stitch and I make I will have into the front 12 at the shoulder 15 at the back 25 at the next shoulder 15 and the second front part also 12 it's very important for the shoulders into the left and into the right and also into the back you must have an odd number okay so shoulders part and the back must have an odd number as you can see I have 50 25 at the back and 50 here and now for the front uh, you need to divide the number of this that you have at the back this number can't be divided by two and make the number minus one the result in my case is um, 24 stitch and 24 divided by two and you will have 12 and 12 okay so uh, one more time you can make with the same number of stitch and plus five four is the co for the corners one two three and four and plus one chain in total 84 and now i will show you how to make it now 
we begin to make one uh, from part and in my case I need 12. Skip two, one, two, into the third, insert the crochet and make double crochet. This chain two count as one double crochet. So I have one, two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, so make double crochet, the number that you need. And then I will show you how to continue. I make 12 and now we make the first corner. Into the next chain, make one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the same stitch. This is the first corner. Now you make a number of stitch that you need for the shoulders part. In my case, I will make 15 double crochet. Okay, so I, I make this 15 double crochet and I will show you how to continue. I make this 15 stitch and now you make the corner number 2. Into the next stitch, make 1 double crochet, chain 1, 1 double crochet. And now you continue as I show you. Continue with the number of stitch that you have for the back into the next stitch make the corner then continue with the number uh, of stitch that you need for the shoulders part into the next stitch make the last corner and then make the last stitch that you have for the front. I will finish the row and then I will show you how to make the next row. I finish the first row and your work will look like that. And now at the row number two, you will have for the front, you will have in plus one, you will have 13 stitch. For the shoulders part, you will have plus two. In total, you will have 17 stitch and at the back you also will have plus two stitch and will be 27 and now for the first front the number that you have minus seven the result is six and we begin to make six double crochet one two this chain two count as one double crochet turn your work and make in total six so one two three four five and six chain one skip one into the next make double crochet chain one skip one into the next double crochet chain one skip one into the next double crochet Chain one, skip one and make the corner. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. So you will have one, two, three, four, chain one space. 
uh, this six double crochet you will work until you finish the jacket okay and also this chain for space and now for the shoulders part you will have 70 or the number that you have and make minus seven the result is 10 stitch this 10 stitch divide by two and we have five plus five the double crochet that you have here at the corner don't count and make five double crochet one two three four and five chain one skip one into the next double crochet chain one skip one into the next double crochet chain one skip one into the next double crochet one more time chain one skip one and make a double crochet and at the shoulders part you also will have one two three four chain one space and this chain one space it is exactly in the middle and now you make five double crochet you already make one one two three four and five and now make the corner one double crochet chain one one double crochet and now we make a uh, the back part at the back you will have 27 and make minus 9 the result is 18 stitch this 80 st stitch we divide by 2 and we have 9 plus 9 and at the beginning at the back part we make 9 stitch or the number that you obtain uh, for you okay but the calculation is made in the same way i will make nine stitch and then i will show you how to continue i make nine double crochet and now we continue this time we have five chain one space not four okay so chain one skip one into the next double crochet chain one skip one into the next double crochet chain one skip one into the next double crochet chain one skip one into the next double crochet one more time chain one skip one into the next double crochet so you have one two three four five chain one space and now we make again nine double crochet this is the first one two three four five six seven eight and nine make the corner one double crochet chain one one double crochet and now you make the second shoulder part 
you make exactly as I show you. Five double crochet, then one, two, three, four, chain one space, and at the end, five double crochet. After I finish the second front side, I will show you how to continue. I finish the second shoulder part, and now we make the second front side, and it make a little different. Make first the corner, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet, then chain one, skip one into the next double crochet. Chain one, skip one into the next double crochet. Chain one, skip one into the next double crochet. Chain one, skip one into the next double crochet. Okay, and look, it is exactly. the same as the first front side and we finish with six double crochet one two three four five and the last stitch always is make into the chain two at the previous row okay and six and now how it look like row number three size now you don't need to count you work exactly as the stitch are chain two one two turn your work and make double crochet six double crochet but you don't need to count because you only follow the stitch okay it's very very simple chain one Chain one again, okay, look, I make the four chain one space and now I make the corner. One double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. And this time you will have two double crochet and then uh, chain one space because we increase in every corner. Okay? Work exactly as the stitch are. I will work until I reach it at uh, the last front side and I will show you one more time how to make it. I work it until I reach it at the last front side and make the corner, chain one, uh, double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same chain one space then make the double crochet and now follow the stitch chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet chain one double crochet, chain one, double crochet. and finish the last six double crochet 
always you will have at the beginning and at the end of the row six double crochet okay because here where we increase at the corners at every row we increase and we have more stitch but at the beginning always will be six and look how it is and now you work until you obtain the space for your arms you measure all around under arm in my case my mother is a small person and she has around uh, 31 centimeter and I will work until I have uh, at here at the shoulders until I finish I have 60 centimeter why because we have a half at the measure into the front a half into the back so 60 plus 60 is 32 centimeter okay so i work until i have at this moment i have almost six five and a half centimeter and i work until i have 60. it's very important to obtain only the space for your arms because uh, when i show you how to join the corners if you don't obtain also the space for your body we can make when we join the corners we can change some stitch and after you make like that but i will show you uh, you also obtain the space for the body but it's very important to obtain only the necessary space for your arm i will finish and then i will show you how to join the corners i work it until i obtain the necessary space for the arms and also in my case i obtain the space for the body if you don't obtain the space for the body but you obtain the space for the slave i will show you how to make in plus some stitch when we join the corners and now you begin and work until you reach it here at the first corner and then i will show you how to join i reach it at the first corner into the first corner make one double crochet if you need uh, to make in plus some stitch because you don't obtain the necessary space for your body you can change some stitch for example i will chain three one two and three and then take the next corner and make one double crochet okay and your body part become a little uh, large okay if you don't need as in my case make the first double crochet into the first corner then take the second corner and also make double crochet and now you continue to work normally the stitch that i show you double crochet and then double crochet 
and chain one. Until you reach it at the next corner. At the next corner, you also make one double crochet and then into the next one double crochet. Okay? After you finish to join the corners. Look how it is. Make work again until you reach it, almost reach it at the corner. Minus three stitch, one, two, and three. So I finish to join the corners. I finish the row, then I begin the next row until I have minus three stitch here. Okay. I finish to join the corners, I finish the row and then I begin the next row and I work until I have minus 3 stitch here where we join the corners and now uh, we make the same uh, stitch, chain 1 double crochet, chain 1 double crochet and we have 1, 2, 3, 4 chain one space and here will be exactly under arm and will be as we make at the slave and is continue under arm so you have one two and three chain one skip one into the next double crochet chain one skip one into the between these two stitch make one double crochet chain one skip one into the next double crochet chain one skip one and we have one, two, three, four, J1 space. Okay? And now you continue to work normally. Until you almost reach it at the next corner and work until you have minus three stitch one two and three and make exactly as i show you here okay so you will have at the beginning for j1 space under arm for chain one space at the back five chain one space under arm also four chain one space and at the end also four chain one space okay now you continue to work so many rows you need for example in my case uh, the jacket will have around 60 centimeter and uh, I will work until I have 50 so minus 10 centimeter so it doesn't matter how long you want to be the jacket you make minus 10 centimeter why because at the end we make uh, a edge and uh, the jacket will be more beautiful okay so work until you have minus 10 centimeter in length and then I will show you how to continue I work until I obtain I almost obtain the necessary length for this jacket.
but uh, before I will show you how to make the bottom edge you count the stitch if your number of stitch can be divided by six plus one because we need to have a number of multiple of six plus one in my case I count and I don't have it and um, I need to increase five times and after I I already increased but I will show you how to make it um, I will have the number of stitch that I need multiple of six plus one the row that you make when you increase for example this is my outside at the jacket the row where you increase must be made by outside because the first row at the edge is worked from inside okay and after you calculate the number of stitch that you need you can increase in my case i increase five five times one here one here two times here and one time here the increase is made to double crochet look here it is the increase One moment because I don't see very good where it is because okay here it is no <laughs> okay so two double crochet into the same stitch and increase so many times you need okay and look after you finish okay we begin the first oh, sorry the first row at the bottom edge chain one turn your work so don't forget the first row at the edge is make it for inside and make two single crochet into the next two stitch the single crochet always the first is make into the first stitch one two chain three one two and three skip three one two three into the four inside the crochet I make single crochet into the next stitch in my case here it is the chain one space but is a stitch so I have one two three single crochet chain three again one two and three skip three one two three into the next make single crochet into the next stitch single crochet into the next stitch single crochet in total three once again one two three chain skip three one two three and make into the next three stitch single crochet one two and three Okay, continue until you finish and at the end of the row here you will have two single crochet. I finish this first row at the bottom edge and then I will show you how to continue. I finish the first row at the bottom edge and look at the end of the row I have one, 
two single crochet chain one turn your work okay into the first stitch make one single crochet then into the chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven join with single crochet into the second single crochet at the previous row here you have one two and three you insert the crochet into the second single crochet and join with single crochet once again into the chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven join with single crochet into the second double single crochet at the previous row okay continue until you finish the row and then i will show you how to continue I almost finish the row number two after you make the last seven double crochet into the chain three space you make the last single crochet into the last single single crochet at the previous row chain four one two three and four and turn your work skip two double crochet one and two and make three single crochet into the next three stitch one two and three chain three chain three one two and three skip again two double crochet at the next shell one and two and make three single crochet into the next three stitch one two and three chain three again one two and three skip two double crochet at the next shell stitch one two and make again three single crochet okay continue until you almost finish the row and then i will show you how to finish and how to make the next row i almost finished the row number three at this bottom edge and after you make the last three single crochet chain one and make one double crochet here into the first stitch of the previous row who it is a single crochet chain three one two and three is count as one double crochet turn your work in this space make three double crochet one two and three in total you have four join with single crochet into the uh, second single crochet of the previous row into the next chain three space make seven double crochet one 
दो रे फोर फाइव सिक्स एंड सेवन जॉइन वे सिंगल क्रोशे इन टू द सेकंड सिंगल क्रोशे अद प्रेवियस रो Once again, into the chain three space, make seven double crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Join with single crochet into the second single crochet at the previous row. And look. As you can see, already look very nice. Uh, work until you almost finish the row, and then I will show you how to finish the row number four, and then I will show you how to make the next row. The next row will be exactly the same as we make the first row, but I will show you one more time how to. Make it. I almost finished the row number four, and I make the last group with seven double crochet into the chain three space, and you join with single crochet into the second single crochet at the previous row, and then in this space make three double crochet one. Two and three, and the last double crochet you make into the chain two. In total, you have four, as you have at the beginning of the row. Now we make again the first row. I will show you one more, more one more time how to begin. Chain one, turn your work. And make two single crochet into the next two stitch. One, two, chain three. One, two, and three. Skip two double crochet at the shell and make three single crochet into the next three stitch. One, two, and three. Chain three again. One, two, three. Skip two double crochet and make exactly as I show you. One, two, three single crochet. One more time. Chain three. One, two, and three. Skip two double crochet at the next shell into the next single crochet. Into the next stitch, single crochet. Into the next stitch, single crochet. Okay. Continue to make so many rows you need until you obtain the necessary length. After I will, I finish this bottom edge. Uh, I make one slave. And then I will show you how to make the sleeve. And very important, the last row at the bottom edge must be a, a row where you make seven double crochet into the chain three space. Okay. I finish the bottom edge, and I have six. Arcade stitch one two three four five six, and as you can see, I also make in one front part a little edge, and also I make I make three quarter slave, and also I make uh, that difference. That detail, sorry, 
who can make the difference between a simple jacket and a very elegant one and look how beautiful it is it's only slip stitch here where we have k1 space so here it is with slip stitch and here it is without look very very elegant and look how beautiful it is the sleeve and also i make at the back this slip stitch but first i will show you how to make the sleeve the sleeve begin here into the middle if you chain some stitch try to begin into the middle in my case i uh, begin the first row uh, from inside because i need to follow the rows exactly how it is and make a slip knot and insert the crochet exactly in the middle chain two one two and now uh, we make at the beginning and at the end of the row two decrease if you chain uh, more between uh, the corners when you join the corners to form the space for the slave you can make three decrease at the beginning three decrease at the end of the row in my case I make two decrease at the beginning and make one and finish double crochet into the next stitch one and finish double crochet join them into one and one more time one and finish double crochet into the next stitch one and finish double crochet join them into one now you continue to work normally double crochet in every stitch until you reach it on the end of the row and very important you must have four stitch or six if you decrease three times okay so work until you have four stitch or six stitch at the end of the row and then i will show you how to continue i almost finished the row and i have four stitch and uh, don't forget to also make the j1 double crochet j1 double crochet when you make the slip okay because here at the slave we also make the slip stitch and now we decrease again two or three times make one and finish double crochet into the next stitch one and finish double crochet join them into one first decrease and the second one unfinished double crochet into the next one unfinished double crochet join them into one and now you join with slip stitch into the chain two at the beginning of the row chain two and that your work and now you take a stitch marker and you put here at the 
row where you decrease and also it is the first row the next row is work it normally double crochet in every stitch and also when you reach it at the ch chain space double crochet also make it follow the stitch exactly how it is all around until you finish after you make the last stitch join also with slip stitch into the chain two and now okay here it is my sleeve here I make two decrease at the beginning two decrease at the end of the row the next row I work normally at the next row I also make two decrease at the beginning two decrease at the end of the row the next row work normally at the next row we also make two decrease at the beginning two decrease at the end of the row since now you make two rows one two rows work normally one decrease at the beginning one decrease at the end of the row and again one two rows work normally one row decrease at the beginning and at the end of the row then one two rows work normally at the next row decrease at the beginning at the end of the row one time and since now you make one row work normally one row decrease one row normally one row decrease one more time decrease two times at the beginning two times at the end of the row one row normally decrease again two times at the beginning at the end one row normally decrease again two times at the beginning at the end of the row so we decrease two times one two and three then two rows were normally one decrease two rows normally one decrease and at the end you make one row normally one decrease and after you almost obtain the length that you have need in my case look I make one two three four arcade stitch in total eight rows because for every arcade stitch we make two rows as I show you at the bottom of the edge and when you begin to make the same edge that I show you make sure you have a number who is multiple of six plus one exactly as I show you at the bottom of the edge and also the first row is worked from inside and after you finish the first row don't join with slip stitch we work exactly chain, uh, after you finish chain one or two depend the row that you need to make and turn your work and make so many rows with arcade stitch that you need after you finish uh, keep a longer thread make a slip knot and then take a yarn needle and sew at the end of the edge until you begin the edge okay I hope you understand how to make the slave Okay, after I finish 
the, the second sleigh, I will show you how to make uh, this little front edge. And also, after we finish the front edge into the left and, in and into the right, we make also at the collar the same edge. But first, finish the slaves, and then I will show you how to continue. I finish the second slave, and now I will show you how to make this little edge. And I will show you how to make it um, at the normal yard. As you can see, I make some arcade stitch, and it is like that, and I make only three rows with double crochet, as you have here. Okay, and now in my case, I need to make the front edge here. After I turn like that, it is into the left side, into the right, I already make it. And when you make for the left side, you begin at the top, at uh, this jacket, until you reach it at the bottom. And one moment. Okay, make a slip knot and for every row here you have rows with double crochet. We make two single crochet. Insert the crochet into the first row. So it's make it exactly the same. Chain one and make one, two, into the next row, two single crochet, one and two, into the next row, also two single crochet, so for every row, two single crochet. And you continue to work until you reach it at the first row at the arcade stitch. At the first row at the arcade stitch, you have two uh, little space, one space little one space little and make one single crochet into the first little space one single crochet into the next little space then you have this large space and make two single crochet and also here, where you make double crochet, also make two single crochet. So, two times, one single crochet, two times, two single crochet. And now, you repeat, one single crochet into the next little space, one single crochet. Now you have this large space, make two single crochet into the next, here where you make double crochet, also make two double crochet, uh, single crochet, sorry. And at this moment, the first row is ready. Then turn chain one and turn your work and make 
back loop single crochet so insert the crochet into the first back loop and make single crochet back loop single crochet back loop single crochet back loop single crochet okay and in my case i make four rows if you want to make more you can make it and this is the edge for the left side when you make for the right you begin at the arcade stitch at the at here at the bottom and you have double crochet make two single crochet in this space two single crochet and then into the next two little space here and here one single crochet and then again when you have double crochet make two single crochet here two single crochet here and then you have one little space one little space and make single crochet and then you continue to make two single crochet for every row until you finish and then continue to make the next row and make so many rows you want with back loop single crochet okay after you finish <coughs> the front edge and also after I finish into the left I will show you how to make here the collar now it's time to make the collar the collar is made with the same stitch that we make at the bottom of the sleeve and at the bottom of the jacket with arcade stitch but before we begin the collar count the number of stitch that you have if you change the same number that I make, uh, make like that. The number that you have minus 10. This 10 stitch we decrease. But I will show you uh, where you need to decrease. The result is 73. And 73 minus 1 is 72. And this number can be divided by 6. And I will have 12 arcade stitch. Okay? If you don't have the same number of stitch, uh, you decrease uh, no more than 10 stitch. And also you need to have after you decrease a, a number who is multiple with six plus one. This number 73 in my case is a number who is multiple with six plus one. And we decrease one time into the front two times at the shoulders one two times at the corner at the back and two times at the back two times at the next shoulders and one time at the front in total we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten stitch okay and we begin 
the first row and arcade stitch we make it uh, from outside this time and you begin exactly into the first stitch not here where you have uh, the the edge okay so into the first stitch at the jacket and take a yarn one moment make a slip knot chain one and make one two single crochet then chain three one two and three skip three one two three into the next make one single crochet now we make a decrease into the next stitch make one unfinished single crochet into the next stitch one unfinished single crochet join them into one and now you have one two and three Uh, single crochet then chain three one two and three one one skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet one moment and make single crochet into the next single crochet into the next single crochet one moment so we decrease one time here into the front and now we need to decrease two times at the shoulders you decrease exactly as i show you one two and three chain three skip three one two three into the next insert the crochet and make one single crochet into the next we make the, the decrease and make one unfinished single crochet into the next one unfinished single crochet one moment one unfinished single crochet two unfinished single crochet join them into one so you have one two and we make one single crochet in total you have three chain three one two and three skip three one two three And now you also make the decrease one unfinished single crochet into the next stitch one unfinished single crochet join them into one into the next stitch make single crochet chain three one two and three skip three one two three and make the first decrease at the back at the back if you don't if you don't can to make the decrease exactly at the corner 
you make when you can. So one here it is the corner and I have to stitch. You count only one. One, two, three. And I make the first decrease. One unfinished single crochet into the next one unfinished single crochet join them into one and then two and three okay continue to make as I show you and decrease as I explain and then I will show you how to make the next row I finish the first row uh, for the arcade stitch and also at the same time I decrease and now you make as I show you chain one turn your work into the first stitch make one single crochet and then into the chain three space make seven double crochet one two three four five six and seven Keep one into the next insert the crochet and make single crochet continue to make as I show you and um, at this moment I don't know how many arcade stitch I need to make I will make six exactly as I make at the bottom of the jacket and I have one two three four five six if I like it I will stop if I don't I will make in plus one or two arcade stitch finish the collar and then I will show you the last part of this jacket I will show you how to make slip stitch here into the J1 space okay I finish the collar and look how beautiful it is and now the last part is to make slip stitch here into the J1 space I already make other sleeve other arm other back and the next sleeve and also at the next under arm and also one part into the front and you begin at the bottom always begin at the bottom and make a slip knot with the color that you want to use for this slip stitch in my case I use black color make a slip stitch a slip knot sorry and then the slip knot it, uh, it is from inside and you insert the crochet for outside and you begin from here and pull the loop and now you make large slip stitch in every row this is the large slip stitch then insert the crochet into the next J1 space pull the yarn and make a large slip stitch then again into the next j1 space 
slip stitch into the next two one space slip stitch okay it's not hard to make I will work until I reach it here at the top and then I will show you how to continue at the next uh, row with slip stitch I make slip stitch until I almost finish the first row for me this is a row so make the last slip stitch into the last chain one space a large loop then insert the crochet for inside and pull the loop and at this moment your first row is ready then insert the crochet into the next row and also into the first chain one space and pull the loop and now you begin the next row with slip stitch as I show you okay and make large slip stitch one moment okay continue as I show you and make in every chain one space and after you finish to make slip stitch your jacket is ready I hope you like it I think it's not hard to make please support me and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and Bye-bye.